The man about to become the youngest president in French history may not have made it this far if it were not for the rise of the far right. Marine Le Pen has always drawn sharp, pointed opinions. Once again, her critics crashed the small town where she voted to warn France against voting for her. The National Front is the end of all of our freedoms, she says. It's the death of our democracy. From the start, this exercise in democracy has been about who could beat Le Pen, who best to stem the populist tide before it reaches the Elysee Palace. It was also clear from the start, her eventual rival would enjoy an advantage. The weight of influencers at home and abroad loathe to see a far-right leader take the presidency. That prospect made this a vote crucial, not just for France, but for Europe and well beyond. Still a difficult moment for voters for whom Macron was not the preferred choice. At the first turn, I didn't vote for Mr. Macron, and I think that it's really important for him just to uh, think about that because most of the people don't think that his program and his ideas can be the, the one that lead France. Millions, though, disenchanted with the old left and right parties did buy into Macron's centrist pro-EU pitch. And just over a year after his movement started, their bet paid off when early results pointed to a commanding lead. Le Pen insisted all along she would win, Donald Trump style, that her populist message had tapped into anger that went undetected by the establishment. Her supporters blamed her loss on the media. All medias were uh, basically singing the same song, and, uh, and it, was, uh, it was very difficult to break the mold at this time. For Emmanuel Macron, for France, it has been a dizzying ascent. At 39, perhaps one of the least proven to ever lead France. In one of the world's most recognizable corners, he acknowledged his reluctant supporters and addressed his critics. Ils ont exprimé aujourd'hui Today they express some anger, some dismay, and sometimes some beliefs. I respect them, but I will do all I can during the next five years so that no one ever has a reason again to vote for extremes. Le Pen wished him well, but far from giving up, she called for a decisive political battle. I suggest that we thoroughly transform our movement to create a new political force to fulfill the wishes of many French people, she says. In another corner of Paris, the anger of those who felt entirely unrepresented tonight escalated into clashes. In some ways, Marine Le Pen did not have to win to make her mark. She now officially speaks for millions of angry French citizens who voted for her. Nala Yed, CBC News, Paris.